first day when i took the car the second day i went and joined the club uh, being with same car same club you know like it's good feel uh, driving with them yeah my name is vinay and i'm from kerala i had my mba qualification i had a i had a proud feeling that i got qualifications all these things okay i can get more than this you know like but when i came here i came to know that more than mba having a license is the more important <laughs> and so owning a car was that the dream that moment then it coming up bigger 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 you know like then i used to check out the cars on the road yeah the first the first car attracted me that's the red lumina i was like oh, this car this is the only car i i i, I like the shape of it uh, i don't know what i was attracting on that but i wanted to own that somehow that was the dream it was in my mind and i had that it, i can own, own it and maintain it i bought the 2009 model it was the new model like not the the facelift one the new model that was the perfect one i liked it because by, if you see that car you don't need to modify it it has a wide body like a saloon car perfect car v8 you have the power everything later on i found that uh, the the chevrolet guys they are stopping the production of the lumina but i never had any complaint with the car because when you own the car yourself you take care of the, like a baby it will never <laughs> make you into trouble that the main best thing about the cars if you own it you own like a new one and you maintain it well uh so i don't want to keep it uh the, the thought i will just sell it off we'll look for another one and thought thinking about same kind of cars like saloon uh i i was keep on thinking like maybe i should go for a merc c63 <laughs> uh, which is german and uh but when when thinking of the maintenance i cannot afford it uh, that is another thing then i searched for an another car like uh, which is which looks similar you know like a sporty look and all the only comes is the dot charger that time which was in uh, 2014 and I, i think 2014 time i was thinking of it i checked for that i found it of really a muscular car the 2014 models have that the biggest uh, body and the uh, the best face lift but again at that moment i was not able to afford it i couldn't afford the uh, dodge at that time uh, i i went and checked it and uh, okay i thought i will take a little more time let's see how is the reviews and our uh, with my colleagues and all these things i did start a stripes over the dot charger and uh, i was really happy with that because i feel the same vibe with lumina and dot charger uh, we thinking about the future plans of family and all it's a perfect car for family as well even uh, you want to have the power you have the power even the look so is you have the look <laughs> you have the feel of driving a sports car so it was a good choice for me it was a perfect choice for me actually uh and then uh i was in a thought like okay let's see how is the maintenance part and all these things how, how people are g- reviewing on this and i had some friends around i was keep on checking for that See, then i thought okay anyway i'm here let's let's why not we just have a check you know like right, let's feel it i mean not you don't get every day every day we're going to showroom and do this <laughs> just i thought okay let's do a test drive and challenge it and the guy what he did he gave me the same rt of charger of a challenger <laughs> and it was in 2015 that they came up with a new look If I never tried a 2014 model. If I had tried a 2014, maybe we I did not feel it because uh, it like a normal saloon car feel inside also. If you see the interior parts and all, and this change 2015 they made is uh, not like a they didn't change much in the body, but they keep the body look beautiful as it is. that's the main part in challenger with the body actually you know so once i drove it that man i i don't see anyone next to me like you are inside like a race race track the cockpit and it's like you know you're sitting in a cockpit the there is display user is facing towards you the steering is yours <laughs> you have the gears on your 
and <laughs> then I came back and <laughs> parked it. Okay, I didn't think about it till until that after I came test drive and all this thing. I went back home. I was in the confusion that should I go with Charger or Challenger? And there's thinking about family or I should I have a saloon car because how will my if I have a good kids in my future, how will they sit inside? And uh, all these things came up. At this time, uh, when all this thing was thinking up, I went back, I checked up, okay, how is the things going on to own a challenger? Huh? And the surprising thing was, uh, there's no major uh, difference owning a challenger and a charger. Because the only thing, it has a photo. I have only two doors. <laughs> Engine, everything, exactly same. At that moment, I thought, why don't I have a second hand, second car? Uh, you know, let's keep it. This is a dream car. Let's keep it like a, so. The dreams are going bigger and bigger. You know, like at that time uh, again, uh, when you research for all these cars, come through the some of the clubs. So I see people driving challenges in the roads, going again, with big crew and all. I was like, oh, oh man, I want to do go with this drives and all these things. I first came through Dodge Club, UAE Dodge Club through Facebook and all. I used to see their pictures and all these things. Like, okay, okay, and then I bought it. I bought the Challenger. Everything got cleared. I bought the Challenger. First day when I took the car, the second day I went and joined the club. The first few days we, I went for the drives. They had some charity programs. Uh, being with same car, same club, you know, like it's good feel uh, driving with them. So that was good. Then I, we went for some charity works like enjoy uh, uh, for bringing the kids to see the cars if you see after uae uae the car community if you see the us they had most of the best car communities and car modes they have done seeing all those people doing the us and all we also had that mentality of okay let's we can do this we can do that but performance wise uh, like yes you can add up filter you had add up exhaust. All these were there long time. It's nothing new on that. Uh, that was the first mods people think on a sports car V8. You see, if you see, uh, there are a lot of simple, simple detailing things in the dots. Uh, that if if you see RT, RT doesn't have a friend lip, friend skirt. You know, uh, all this also I research. <laughs> if I can have the SRT lip. All these small, small things, like it came into my mind. Like, uh, okay, I hope I can change the face as it. I bought a, a SRT friend lip. That was easy to install. It straight away came in. Many people don't think about all this, uh, but it was easy to install. And Johnny made it did, made it done for me. And then we came with the aluminium lip. Uh, the extra that is it's all adds up some kind of look you know uh, maybe not all like it but some who are the car guys would look at oh this is good you know that feel is enough for anybody having a uh, car <laughs> so we added built up that thing side skirts and the diffuser came up diffuser part was like uh, thinking and uh, it, it, it not many have done not no, I, maybe nobody has done that diffuser that time in 2015. People have loved it like anything, my diffuser. I have got like uh, maybe like hundreds so more than hundreds of messages asking for the diffuser. And uh, it was really beautiful looking at it. I had so many compliments on that. I had a lot of followers. I got it through that. More, many people come take photos and I was like, you know, you feel that. <laughs> Every day you are going, you know, up, 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 up. <laughs> That's really good.